Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to hide a row in your generated document. So the key to this is adding a token that is prefixed with a hash, if, and then underscore, and then the name of the token. So you can see I've got if description, and then right at the end of the row, I've got another if description, but this time it's prefixed with the forward slash. So to start, we have hash, and to end, we have forward slash. So I'll just close that. And now in our transform, that formula, essentially, or that token, either needs to be true or false. So if it's true, show. If it's false, then don't show it at all. So coming in here, I'm going to create a formula that equates to either true or false. So um, just to show you, this is my description field, and this is something that the user inputs. So if it's blank, I want the formula field to equate to false. And if it's populated, then I want it to be true. So just really quickly, I'm going into my formulas and I'm going to create a new formula and it's going to be that if underscore description and we'll start off by going is blank and I believe, let's just have a quick look, it's enter object description. But because we want it to be true when it is populated, we're just going to prefix that with a not, just like that. And then in our result path, we want to go into our transforms and just have that in there as the input and output. Okay, so now what happens is that when this transform gets run, it will check to see what's in that description field. If it's populated, return true. If it's not, return false. And therefore, it should either show the row or hide it. So let's preview that and have a look. So I should have an ID on my clipboard. So I'll just quickly go through. This is using a template that I created in a different document. So I'm going to leave my description as blank. Let's just put in just anything in here. And it's that template. So we can see we have three rows. And then I'll just preview that again. The same ID, we'll put test in here. So this time we're expecting that to result in true and therefore for the row to show. And there you can see that row is now showing. So in this example, the formula is really simple, but you can do some really complicated things. So as long as it equates to true or false, then it'll show or not show. One thing you do need to be careful of is, it, is if, for example, you want to show this when it equals true and this when it equals false, you essentially have to duplicate this formula. So for example, if show description and if show other description, um, and then you'll want to basically have the opposite of what the other formula is.